Hades Omega's head is 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 going at a high speed right now. <laughs> um, so so these are the, both of the, the the top caps of the the carbs. So you can see that the the one that I bought is a lot longer. It's a little bit longer. So I think I can get a little more cable because this it actually works with this cap with the throttle I have right now. Um, I we don't have a lot of time to be dicking around with cables and stuff. So I think the best thing to do is just to modify what we have um, to get it to work with that cable. Um, the the ideal thing to do would be to get a longer cable that has like a shorter jacket. Um, yeah, it would have to be like. A longer cable with a shorter jacket but for now I think what we can do to get by is to modify this elbow and that would be kind of cheap this elbow only costs like 10 bucks or something so if I mess it up it's not too bad um, but yeah uh, so you can see sorry it's kind of hard to hold them together the other one wants to move too so you can see it's a little bit longer hold it. yeah see what we can do, you know, it's kind of tall too. What we can do is um, get a die and thread, continue threading this elbow all the way down here. And then that way we can move this further down in there. And if we can do that, if we do that, we can get more cable. Um, that's what I'm saying. Let me see how far this goes. Actually, we can probably just put this in without the, without the nut too. In a way, you can use this as a throttle cable adjuster too. But yeah, yeah, it's like right on the money now. So that might actually help a little bit. But what we can do is thread this. We can thread this more and then just chop some off of the end. So um, I'm going to see if I could find a die. And then we're going to continue threading this elbow maybe like a quarter of an inch or something. Maybe less like that much. And then if, we, if it's still not long enough, what we can do is, sh is shorten this side too. Do the same thing on the other side. So, um, and plus I I don't know if it's going to clear the gas tank if it's like that. So, uh, it would be better to make it exactly like the other one. So this one is just just a hair longer. It's it's about like not a hair, but like like a quarter inch uh, longer. So we're gonna see if we can if we can add extra if we can make it shorter a quarter inch. We might have enough cable to use the the. Um, I could the not find the uh, the die. Or the tap for this. I cannot even find what the right size for this um, it is. A strange fitting. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rethread everything. We're gonna rethread the cap. Yeah, we're gonna rethread the cap, rethread the elbow, and we're gonna cut this down a little bit. Yeah, extra little ca uh, so we can get a little extra cable. And um, and yeah, I think that's the only way we can get it to work. So we're just gonna shorten it like this. Maybe make it a little shorter than this. Um, let's see, see cause you can see, if I put them down side by side, I mean the other cap is a little taller too, so, um, but yeah, you can definitely tell the other one is longer. So we'll have to cut, we gotta make this a little shorter, and then we'll just make this a little shorter, we'll cut in like half or something. Uh, hopefully that'll be okay, uh, hopefully it won't mess the cable up at all, but it should be fine if we were using it one similar like this on this one, so. That is going to be what we're going to have to do. It is a very strange um, size, so yeah. So if anybody knows what size that is, please let me know. My guess it's a it's a six millimeter, but it's not a one one point zero pitch. I think it's like a point eight zero pitch or point seven zero. Because because here you see on the five the M fives you got an M five nine point nine, and then you got an M five point eight. So I don't know what it could be. <laughs> I don't know what the pitch size is, but it's not a one. It's a, it's a lot, it's a lot more finer than a one. So, but it is a six. So, but uh, we're just gonna rethread. We're gonna wind up rethreading everything anyway. So, all right. Here's my gap. I'm sad. It's kind of sad. I can't find the right fitting for it, but it's really odd. I'll, I'll go look it up on the computer a little more. Um, and in the end, I think. I think we may just, we will just have to make get a custom made cable from like Motion Pro or something. All right. All right, he's right here. We're gonna do it. We're gonna rethread this sucker, dude. So, yeah. So it's really really hard to find stuff in M6.7. I think it's 0.75. It's not 0.8. I, I kept from for some reason I thought it was 0.8, but I think it's 0.75. But I still don't know for sure. So, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rethread it and M6.7. 
0.1. So this is the right, this is the right diameter, but it, the the thread pitch is too uh, is too coarse for this. But we're gonna just modify it. So I'm gonna try to thread it all the way down to like here or something. All right, wish me luck. some point it shouldn't do anything hope I'm doing it straight Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the cap. I don't want to damage the cap. So. But it's doing it. Right. Okay, that's even harder to do now. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put the elbow part. I don't think we're going to thread the elbow. So. In the vise. Okay, this is harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I think it was better to just leave it on the cap. <laughs> so I don't fuck the cap up. Alright, anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, there's my, my threading apparatus. <laughs> there we go. So I got it pretty much as far as I can thread it, man. So. so we just modify. Maybe we'll just do one side. That's what I'm thinking. stuff. Some of the threads are kind of missing, but that's to be expected. Okay, so now we got to go modify this guy. So this, so now this will not screw onto here anymore. It'll probably screw and then it'll stop. See? So, so now we have to go modify the threads on this. And this brass, I think it won't be that hard. Um, but so I got it down to here. Yeah, it looks like it kind of crushed it a little bit. It's still okay. So now we got one with really fine threads here, and then one with kind of coarser threads here. But it's still screws in there. I try. I try to be careful not to damage the threads. So. Actually, that screws in there quite a bit. We can probably, what we can do is probably just shave some of this off here, and then just screw it on like that. You know. Um, that that should get us a, a little bit more. Yeah. Then we'll probably lock yeah, this Yeah, I don't want to do it, but I've already so. started, so I can't stop now. Here we go. I'm going to try to thread that on there. And like I as I mentioned, it's very soft, dude. So um, I might be able to just do this with some pliers. Yeah, yeah, it's super soft. Look at that. It's made out of brass, so. I don't even have to back it off to clean it, you know.
That was super easy, man. <laughs> so as you can see, the brass is really, really soft compared to the, I think the other one is made out of steel or some shit. Okay, I hope I did it right. Looks like, looks like it would work pretty good. It's easy. screws on to there now. Yep, it does. Bingo. And it goes all the way in. All the way in. So so we can cut a good chunk of that off now. So all right, we're getting we're making some progress now. I'm wondering if I should try to get it in there a little more. Anyway, I'm going to try to blow off some of the flakes. So what we're going to have to do is cut, cut whatever. I can, I will, maybe I will try to, to thread a little bit more under there, but I think that's as far as we can go, man. We're pretty close to the edge already, um, to, to the where the bend is. I don't want to miss mess up the other threads. It's hard. You, there's nothing to grab onto this thing. Okay, so I was worried uh, if this part sticking out on the bottom would interfere with the... Uh, with this guy at all and it doesn't um, um this you can see there's a big like it's like halfway into the slide there's a big recess sort of so it's not going to interfere at all and there's going to be a spring that keeps it from hitting it too so i think it's okay to leave this part sticking out here so that's what i'm going to do we're going to leave this sticking out but we're going to put the the nut in so it won't spin anymore uh so what i think i might do is we'll just keep the uh we'll just keep this loose um, that way we can swivel it a little bit, you know, but, um, but yeah, um, that way we can, we can point it any way we want because we can do that because the stock one does the same thing. This doesn't seal anything. There's no, there's no reason to seal this. So, um, at least I don't think it is, uh, but this one swivels like that too. So we're just going to make that like that. We're just going to leave it loose, um, to swivel any way it wants. That way it'll be easier to get the cap on. But you're gonna want to do this before you know, put the cable in. <laughs> well, the cable won't be in there though, so I don't know. It's it sounds complicated, man. All right, so the next step is to uh, we're gonna shorten this. Uh, so we gotta get it so the cable. So we gotta make it so the the cable will go into this, and you can still put the little pin, the little clip in there. Um, so that means we gotta cut it like tighten it all the way here, and then cut it like right there. Pretty much where this little slit is. Uh, maybe a little more than that, actually. All right. Okay. So how I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna take a measurement. So we're gonna go here, and then so I've got the little part on the caliper sticking out here. It's pretty much touching where the the window is. I'm gonna move it a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a little bit past. Maybe like one or two millimeters past it. Okay, so that's where we're that's where we gotta cut. That's how much we gotta cut off right there. So basically we'll take this off. And then take this, mark it, mark it, and then we're gonna cut it like right here. Yeah, we're gonna cut it like right around here. Got it? Alright. Let me do that. Okay, 
Okay, it was pretty tough to cut. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, try to get, try to open up the passageway. It's like it kind of closed up a little bit now. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, reamer to just open it up a little bit. Looks okay, so I'm gonna go use this little tool I bought a while ago to clean up the thread. So this little tool deburs the uh, the thread, so like it'll it won't get all tangled up and stuff if you didn't cut it straight. Um, I think you're supposed to put this on a drill normally, but it's so small I don't think it makes a difference. So I do it by hand. It's a cool tool I found it on uh, Facebook, and I actually never used it. So. <laughs> So it should have a nice smooth engagement. But I did already check to see if it fits and it does, so. What I might want to do is sand down the edge. It's a little sharp one. Yeah, it's fine. So this is this helps clean up the the tip. And it should screw on. I screwed it on earlier and it worked. It was a little hard to get on, but there we go. Nice smooth engagement. So maybe we didn't get it enough. Let's see. Nope, looks like we did. I can see straight through it. So, all right, so now we'll see if it fits on our cable. Okay, so this is our shortened throttle elbow for the carb. Let's see if it fits. Goes in just fine. Sort of, kind of. Okay, that goes in there. Doesn't look like it, there's enough. Yeah, it doesn't go far enough. Yeah, so we gotta cut it some more actually. I need to cut it enough. Um, the the cable is hitting the actual the tube, so uh, we gotta we gotta shorten it a little more. Uh, we'll probably just use the grinder until we get it perfect. But we're pretty close, pretty close. Uh, you can see I, all I have to do is unscrew it just a tad, and then it was able to go in. So we'll just shorten it just a little more. All right. And uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this on the grinder for a little bit and shorten it a little bit, and then and then like I said we'll clean up the ed, the tip and then we'll ream it a little bit so it doesn't. Okay, I got it, it just it. right, just right. So let's see if the uh, if the little clip will go back in. All right, yeah, it goes in. And the cable does not go out anymore. There you go, success, we have done it. All right, so so that is as much cable as I can give it, man. That's as much cable as I can give it. I still don't, I don't think it's enough to, <laughs> we'll see. All right.